Uh, this is the yarn that I'm using, yarn B, soft and sleek. Um, the color, I think it's ox blood, yes. So these are the specifications of the yarn. Uh, I usually buy minimum 400 grams. Um, if yarn is available, I will buy 500 grams. And if there is extra, I'll just go and return it or replace with another yarn. Obviously, you can uh, substitute with whatever yarn you have in your country or um, wherever you live. Uh, it requires a four and a half millimeter hook but um, I crochet pretty loosely so I'm using a four millimeter hook and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started and before we move on for me showing you how to make the stitch um, this is just a reference so you can see as you are going to be working your panels uh, this side will be a little smaller than this one uh, but you will have to wash it and block it or iron it however you um, work the finished projects to even it out and this is the reference what we what i will show you a small sample you will have to count and adjust to uh, match your you know however wide you want it um, but i will we will start with the base mm. I usually do two rows you can do however many you want and uh, then I will show you a little piece of I'm doing half of this and half of this you can adjust if you are a little more advanced you can adjust this part how wide you want um, the design to be and how wide the simple double crochets to be the multiples of the stitch are 10 so you will have to count this part um, to have 10 the rest it doesn't matter again you can make it as wide or as narrow as you want so, so the pattern calls for multiples of 10 plus two at the end for the design part one two three so that will be the design part and you like i said you're gonna count however many you want um and then we're just gonna add random amount of double crochets that you will want the other side to be uh, three four five six plus two at the end for the double crochet now the very easy part double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and you will put one double crochet in each chain till the end of the row like so so go to the end, turn the work, add another row of double crochets, but work into the, um, let me see, where did they work? Into the front loop only. And second row complete. Now we will turn. I will start with what's on the uh, diagram. Chain one, a single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the second stitch, skip three one two three into the next we'll put three double crochet chain one three double crochet one two three chain one three more double crochet into the same stitch and this will be our shell skip three single crochet into the next chain one skip one single crochet into the next and this is your repeat so yarn over skip three three double crochets chain one three double crochets into the next chain one one two three skip three double um single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and again yarn over skip three 
double crochet uh, three double crochet chain one three double crochet into the next skip three single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and like i mentioned before you can either add another shell and finish with double crochets or just finish with double crochets if you want to make another shell then we're this is how we're gonna end with a double a single crochet chain one skip one single crochet if we want to finish the design part so it will be oh, let me undo it you finished the shell skip three and one single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the next and this way you are ending the design um, the same way you started it so with two single crochets into single crochets now from here on we will put one double crochet till the end of the row and if you want to work in um, the back loops fine i decided to just work in both loops this way it will not stretch as much okay so for me to not repeat myself double crochets till the end turn double crochets and you will stop at this on this double crochet and here you are uh, i ended at this double crochet if it's easier for you uh, put a stitch marker around the leg of this double crochet so you know where to stop and we are at the design part so uh, on the chart it shows half double crochets um, i decided to you to go with double crochets uh, it's just less to remember um okay so these were our two single crochets into the next single crochet you will work two double crochets chain three move into the shell single crochet and that's how you're going to move chain three into the chain one space here you will put a double crochet chain one double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet and till the end chain three single crochet into the chain one between the double crochets chain three double crochet chain one double crochet into the chain one space between the single crochets and again chain three and finish the row into the last single crochet with two double crochets one and two and this is what we have now we'll turn chain three counts as our first double crochet and we'll add three more double crochets into the same first stitch this will be the total of four double crochets. Find the single crochet. We'll put single crochet into the stitch right before. Chain one, skip one, skip the single crochet. And put a single crochet into the chain right after. moving into the chain one space we'll put three double crochets chain one three double crochets three chain one and three more and same here single crochet right before into the chain right before chain one skip the single crochet and single crochet into the chain right after and continue until the end of your design part 
So three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets into the chain one space, into the V-stitch. Three and single crochet into the chain before, chain one, skip one, single crochet into the chain right after. To finish the design part, here are your two double crochets that you put into the single crochet. You will put four double crochets into the second double crochet. Make sure don't mistake with the first one. So four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And this is your design part. And one double crochet till the end. So what I would do is put a double crochet into the next stitch and put a stitch marker in it till the end and come around and we are back so the last double crochet of this section and now single crochet into the first double crochet of these four chain three a v stitch into the chain one so double crochet chain one double crochet chain three single crochet in between chain three v stitch into the chain one here double crochet chain one double crochet chain three this uh, single crochet in between these until the end of the row repeat the same chain three and to end the row you will go into here to the third chain from the beginning of that previous row and put a single crochet there we go chain one turn single crochet into the first stitch single crochet into the next stitch or into the chain so as you can see, we're starting uh, the repeat. So we started with two single crochets here. We're starting with two single crochets here. And now we'll kind of repeat the same. Uh, here we skipped three, skipping three, well, actually four, um, the three chains, but we will work the three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets into the V stitch. Three, chain one, and three. And you already know how it will go. Single crochet into the chain before the single crochet. Chain one, skip the single crochet, and single crochet into the chain right after and so on till the end of the design so a shell into the v-stitch two three chain one and three more and single crochet to the chain before chain one skip one single crochet into the chain after and the next shell into the next v-stitch Okay, and to end the design part, so this is your single crochet right here, 
you will single crochet into the chain right before and single crochet into the single crochet and we're done with the design part just one double crochet again till the end flip up and uh, turn the work and one double crochet back and we're back into the single crochet we'll put two double crochets just like we did on our second row of the design right here and chain three single crochet into the shell chain three v-stitch into the chain one space here between the single crochets and the repeat till the end chain three single crochet into the shell chain three v-stitch into the chain one and again and obviously to end the row we will put two double crochets into the last stitch into the single crochet there we go turn now we will be repeating this row where we chained three counts as a double crochet and we'll add three more double crochets into the first stitch for the total of four okay and here you should already know single crochet right before into the chain right before the single crochet chain one skip the single crochet and a single crochet into the chain right after a shell into the v-stitch two three chain one and three more double crochets single crochet right before chain one skip one single crochet right after and another shell into the v-stitch into the next v-stitch chain one single crochet right before chain one single crochet skip one single crochet right after why is this so tight there we go and finishing the design part find the two double crochets and put four double crochets into the last or uh, the second one or the last of the design really however you want to name it there we go so basically i showed you the full uh, round of repeats and this is how you're going to be going double crochet is here come back and continue with the design part and we're back uh, so the reason I want to show you this part also is how to end um, your block. Let's put it this way. So um, this is my um, uh, panel, one of the panels. So obviously you will want to end it with something sturdy as well because this will be your shoulder part and it will be hanging on them on the shoulders so um let me show you how to add this uh top row and then you can add double crochets back and forth for however many you want um but at least let me get you started with the base
so I do recommend that whatever your however long you want your panel to be do try to finish um, the row the repeat with where, where you have the four double crochets in the beginning um, versus you know having the two or the single crochets I think this one will be like I say um, a little sturdier there's a little more yarn here so once you've done this row uh, go ahead and complete the uh, next row it's with one single crochet so see how it's wavy we need that top that next row to even this out so uh, one double cro uh, single crochet into the first and then chain three double crochet i mean uh, v-stitch into the chain one between the single crochets chain three single crochet into the shell all right so see now it's straight line turn chain three will count as a double crochet okay so now let's ref um, go back and reference the base row here we skipped three and we put the shell here we have three chains so we will put one two three in the this v stitch here is only one stitch we kind of worked uh, so instead of putting double crochets into each one of them you will put a double crochet in between skip the these two because technically we're utilizing only one from the base then again three into the um, chain three space and here one into the single crochet so the count of these double crochets should match the however <clears throat> many double crochets we used for the design here at the base and this is what we're looking at so i hope this part made sense so for your front panel and your back panel you will do exactly the same um, repeat the same steps and here is my uh, back panel complete i'm just quietly giving a shout out to valspar it is a good paint though um totally not sponsored of subject i need to remove them eventually um so this is the back panel it uh, i steamed it and it ended up being almost 23 inches uh, close to 50 what is it 58 centimeters um this is wide and uh 20 and a half inches uh, 52 centimeters uh, long so this is the back panel and this is how it's going to stay as you can see i've added this uh, a couple of rows of double crochets you can pause the video and count the double cro the rows so this is the front panel and if you follow me on instagram you saw that i have completed the front panel and realized that the yarn um the lot number was completely different and they did not match and i i couldn't stand it so this is how it looks like when it's not steamed or not blocked um as you can see the design pulls to the side so don't be um alarmed or scared if or think don't think that you're doing something wrong if uh, your unblocked panel looks like this so um i measured and this is how it's enough for me from here on i will start working on the shoulder panels um, i didn't block it just because i wanted to show you the sample how it looks like i'm gonna go uh, steam it come back and um, we'll work on the shoulder panels i have no idea where my stitch markers are safety pins will work just fine everybody has safety pins at home so um, if you know where the middle is mark it if not count the stitches from either side inwards here is a little tip for you so i have an even number of stitches and uh, the stitch marker goes in between the stitches 
for this project or for any other project. If you end up in um, a space between stitches, you're gonna count the number of stitches from that space. If you end up in a double crochet, let's say you have an odd number, obviously you're gonna end up in, in a double crochet, you count the double crochets to the left and to the right, super easy. Count the stitches. I have 20 into the 21st here and into the 21st this way and approximately nine inches. We don't need the middle one, I removed it. So now you are going to double crochet to this side, turn, double crochet backwards. And I'm not gonna waste your time showing uh, one double crochet until the end, cut off the yarn. And the back panel is complete. Fold it, set it aside, let's bring the front. A uh, cool trick or something to, instead of you finding the middle and counting again, count the number of stitches that you have on this shoulder panel mark the same here on this mine were 33 so i counted 33 from this side 33 from this side this way it is guaranteed that my shoulder panels will be the same exact stitch number and just as we discussed we had total of nine head have total of nine here so we are gonna Add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, duh. <laughs> so eight, eight rows of back and forth. And again, I really don't want to waste your time. You already know how to do it. Eight rows here, eight rows here. Let's come back um, and work on the neck. And here is a quick shot of um, how I worked the shoulder panels. So I put uh, the panels with the wrong side out and I sewed the shoulder panels with the two tails that were left over and uh, this is how it looks like on the right side barely uh, you can barely see it so now i uh, turn it with the right side up and we will work on the neckline and here is the view from the right side so this is the front panel this is the back panel we will begin somewhere in the middle of the back panel and we will work in rounds and since we already have double crochets, um, I will not do anything elaborate, just double crochets, uh, keeping it simple since the entire garment is pretty much made up of design. Uh, slip stitch, I eyed this, I did not count, but if you want to count, feel free. Um, and the same chaining three, one double crochet in each stitch um, until we reach the corner. Slightly tilt the project. So we are right here, one double crochet that is left from the back uh, panel. Pull up a loop, pull through two, don't finish the double crochet. Work around the post of the shoulder panel same thing pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all so these are two together um, so it's a smooth line going around here we'll put a double crochet try to work it into the um, seam and to grab two loops And from here on, one double, uh, two double crochets. Well, let's um, alternate one double crochet around one post, two double crochets around the next post. Same, one double crochet around the next post, two double crochets around the next post. If you wish, you can work two double crochets, but it will be a little too flared. This one usually ends up being a little straighter. So one into the next, two into the next, or around the next, and one around the next. Here, this is the last one, so we'll put one double crochet as regular, one, and um, pull this to the back. So this is our next double crochet from the front panel. So 
double crochet around the same post of the shoulder panel pull up through two loops and yarn over insert into the double crochet of the front panel pull through two yarn over pull, pull through all and uh, these are two together so you can see how they connected here and same um, in this one now we will continue with one double crochet till we reach the next shoulder panel same here one from the back panel insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and one we're working into the uh, shoulder panel around the post same thing and two together we're going to continue um, so to keep it even here we had when we ended um, when we connected these we had um, around this post we needed two right here so let's keep it the same uh, we will put one more double crochet around this and then one around the next two around the next this way everything is symmetrical one around the next two around the next and so on until we reach the um, back panel and then we will work these two together so yarn over around the next post yarn over pull through two yarn over into the stitch of the back panel yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all and this is the um, final part so one double crochet until you reach the beginning of the round slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and cut off the yarn try it on and see how you like it if it's too wide for you uh, it shouldn't be but if it is you can go um, with another round of either single crochets or slip stitches or another round of double crochets depends uh, depending on how uh, wide this is if it's too wide obviously for me this is normal i'll just cut off the yarn fold it with the wrong side out and you are going to measure the sleeves okay this is our seam just align it um, you can either measure the garment that you like and go um, by that or you can take a look at the um, chart that i have where they have the measurements for each size what is the recommended arm size so um, i usually go with either seven or eight um, so let's say i would go with eight and i will mark the stitch somewhere here or what I can do is I can I pinch it together and um, from both sides and I actually try it on even though um, it's the same from garment to garment I still try to you know um, try it on and just see how it goes because you never know how stretchy the garment is or how stretchy the design is so it it never hurts to measure here is a uh, sample well not sample for you to take a look and see how the um, final sleeve will look like i joined and went in rounds and i decided to make the top of the sleeve to match our design and kind of um, make everything look cohesive so my first round uh, will face with the wrong side out I will join around the uh, post of the double crochet and how I learned it works for me for my sleeves is putting one double crochet around one post two double crochets around the other post and uh, that's how the width of the double of the sleeve works perfectly for me so chain three 
counts as the first double crochet and I'll put one more double crochet here so two in this one around the next then what I did is see these little loops um, right here so instead of putting two double crochets around that post I put one double crochet into that little loop and one double crochet around the post then only one double crochet around the next post and then again into the loop double crochet into the loop double crochet around the post only one double crochet around this post one double crochet into the loop one double crochet around the post and so on until uh, you reach the seam so um, you should have the same repeat and here I had loop um, around the post of double crochet and around the post so now you will work one into the seam that will be the base of that shell that lays right um, or aligned with the seam and just improvise tuck it in there now you're going to be going the opposite direction here so i ended with two double crochets one double crochet here i'm going to start backwards one double crochet around this post two double crochets around the next or one into the loop one around the post next is around the post the next is into the loop around the post or just alternate one two one two one two one two so two one and now the design um i will put we're gonna have to spread them evenly um, one into the single crochet here then one around the post one into see this well, i'd say into the v well technically we need two so we can put one into this loop right here where the shell started and the one around the v and then one into the slope beneath or where the v is one into the around the double crochet or the single crochet and if <clears throat> i don't work around i work into the loop and i think the same around the double crochet of the fan into this loop where the fan was created then into the V here and then into the single crochet and uh, yeah looks pretty even I think in three counts as the first double crochet I will put one double crochet in each stitch almost till the end um, go all the way up to the seam there is my seam so this one is in the middle we don't count it stop three um, from the middle so this is your seam one two three stop here three we're skipping three and we are working our shell into the double crochet that is in the seam one two three chain one one two three and uh, this is the reason why we started with this row backwards uh, or with the wrong side towards us so the shell is with the right side towards us and then we're going to skip three 
and work double crochets till the end now to save the time since you already know obviously how to put double crochets what we're gonna do is i'm gonna let you guys finish the round slip stitch turn again you're gonna work in the opposite direction and let's meet here at the um where the shells are okay so two one double crochet into the double crochets and now i will try i try to follow the pattern so chain three single crochet into the chain one chain three and into the double crochet i did modify the pattern so it's a little less gapping here on the sleeve and now the same thing go with double crochets till the end slip stitch come back okay so double crochets here to finish this and then three double uh, three chain chain three and here we will put a v stitch into our um single crochet v stitch and then chain three and double crochets around this is the repeat um, so let me put show you this sleeve and um, right here you can see the shell single crochet v stitch and then the next round you're gonna put again shell the next one single crochet the next one v stitch and you can expand the sleeve or expand uh, make the sleeve as long as you want on mine as you can see this is what i have so after the shell i made a round where i put single crochet and then the very last one um double crochet in each stitch uh, in each stitch and chain so i put three double crochets here uh, one double crochet into the single crochet three double crochets one in each of the chains and everything evened out so um I, I don't think there is a reason for me to be repeating and showing you guys already got the point and got the idea